Good morning, good morning, good morning. What am I making for you today? I'm making Muckers Chili. And this is out of, oh, this is Luann from Blackberry Rock Homestead. Um, so let me turn you around and besides showing you the chili book that is where it's at. Hold on. And it's out of this book right here. Uh, so let's turn it, the camera around and let me show you how to make it. So the very first thing is we got to uh, brown our hamburger meat since it's somewhat frozen. And I'm using venison ground beef, venison uh, ground meat, uh, but you can use um, hamburger. Anyway, uh, I've already put a tablespoon of oil in here um, and I'm using canola oil. So I need to get this browned up a little bit and then we will add our other ingredients which one of the other ingredients is the chili sauce that I can. And this is a chili without beans. That's what the recipe calls. But of course my husband is here here in the Missouri Ozarks. Uh, we grew up with chili with beans so I will be adding beans to this recipe. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. And I might add, whoever invented this nifty tool is a genius. It breaks up your hamburger meat or anything that you're cooking that is ground perfectly. Um, so whoever made this tool, you're a genius. So according to the recipe, uh, you need to add all your ingredients all at the same time while you're browning your hamburger meat but i'm going to brown my hamburger meat first i have since added a half a cup of onions my onions are frozen so from when i and i am filming this in august on a very hot day so we'll just see how this goes so let's get this all browned up and then i will add the rest of the ingredients so since it's somewhat halfway uh, brown, I'm going to add my seasonings, which is two tablespoons of chili powder, uh, half a teaspoon of cumin, and a about the same amount of oregano. So we're going to add that, get that stirred in. And then I'm going to go get one more ingredient to get it measured out. Now we're going to be adding to this, besides I've got to drain my beans. Uh, we're going to have black beans in here. So let me go get the other ingredient. So we got one garlic clove and a tablespoon of soy sauce. Um, a cup of water and a half a cup of our chili sauce and besides that we're going to add it says corn flour i'm going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of cornmeal so and then we're going to stir all this up and then i'm going to add the beans to this too uh, at least two cans of black beans as well because hubby wants you know black beans in here we got to have beans for our chili now the recipe says to i added two cans of the seasoned black beans instead of black beans i had canned which maybe next time i will add a jar of black beans that i can now it says to bring it to a bowl and simmer until it's done um so we will get that done and i'm going to also boil some hot dogs to have this chili go over it so now that it's come to a boil i've lowered the heat down and i'm going to let this simmer until the hot dogs get done because i just put the hot dogs on um but don't that look good y'all other than you know it wasn't supposed to have beans in it but i added black beans um it is what it is a recipe is pretty much um 
You could follow it to a T or you can jazz it up a little bit and make it your own. So I kind of made this my own uh, by adding the beans to it. So it might have been good though without the beans for to put on your chili. Um, to make chili dogs. Who knows? Anyway, so that is where we're at. I'm going to put the lid on it and I'm going to let it simmer until the hot dogs get done.